Hi, this is Ujwal Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use QGIS to identify the shared border between two neighboring polygons. And once you identify the shared border, how can you identify a buffer region on either side of that border? So let's get started. Here I am in QGIS 3.22 LTR, but this analysis should work on all modern versions of QGIS. I want to show you first what's the outcome that we are expecting. Here I have a shapefile of the states in India. Uh, this could be any uh, administrative regions that you are looking to analyze. Uh, this shapefile comes from Datameet. Uh, here, let's say we want to identify the border between two neighboring states. So here, are, these are the two states and I want to identify the shared border between them. So we're gonna do an analysis that will uh, allow us to extract this border as a polyline. So we have identified the shared boundary between these two uh, polygons. And once we have that, I want to find out the region, um, say one kilometer on either side of this uh, border. So here we want to do identify this one region on one side uh, belonging to one state and on the other side belonging to the other state. Uh, this type of analysis is useful because if you consider this border regions, uh, they often have similar characteristics. They have similar climates, similar soils, etc. But the only thing that differs is the regulation on either side of the administrative region. And if you want to analyze the impact of policy on, say, agriculture uh, and other socioeconomic outcomes, you can identify such buffer regions and analyze them to see how the policies or regulations have impacted those parameters. So let's get started. So I'm going to remove all those layers and we're going to start from the beginning. So here I have a shapefile. Uh, this is a regular polygon shapefile. You can see at the bottom right, the projection of this layer is in EPSG 4326, uh, which is lat long, the units are degrees. This projection, uh, geographic projection is not suitable for analyzing distances such as buffers. So the first step in our analysis is to reproject this layer to a suitable projected CRS. I'm going to use this uh, tool from the processing toolbox called reproject layer. What projection to use? Well, that'll depend on you know, the region that you're trying to analyze. If it's a small enough region uh, that fits within a single UTM zone, you can use an UTM projection. Since this is a countrywide data, we may have states spanning multiple UTM zones. I would prefer um, the uh, country level projections for India. I usually recommend the the India NSF uh, National Spatial Framework LCC projection. So we're going to reproject it to that. All right, so we have our reprojected layer. Uh, the next step is we want to now extract these two polygons, the neighbor polygons. And since we want to analyze uh, them um, uh, separately, it'll be nice to have them as separate layers because a lot of the GIS tools will work on different layers. So I want to select those uh, two states and then I want to use this tool called split vector layer. Uh, this is a very useful tool where it'll, it'll create a new layer from the each feature of the input layer. So I'm going to use this tool and I'm going to check the selected features only box. So it's only going to work on those two selected features. I'm going to provide a unique ID. This will be used to create the name of the output layer. And I'm going to show a directory where the input layers will go. Okay, I'm going to run this. So the output of this will be these two polygons that were generated from uh, our reprojected layer. So now we have two polygon layers, each containing one feature for each of our administrative unit. Uh, I want to compute the intersection of those two polygons uh, to find the border. Uh, when you intersect two polygons, the result is a polygon. And unfortunately, in this case, it doesn't work. So first step, I want to convert the, both of these polygons into polylines. Uh, you can use the polylines, um, so polygons to polygons to lines tool. This will do that as well. I also like to use the boundary tool. Uh, this is also another tool that will take a polygon and uh, give you the, the boundary of uh, the polygon as a line string. So let's run this. I want to run this on both the layers. So instead of running the tool twice, uh, you can actually run this in a batch. 
So I'm going to right click and execute this as a batch process. Uh, if, you know, if you don't know how the batch processing works, I have uh, a step-by-step -step tutorial on QGISTutorials.com. I'm going to leave a link to that on the description. You can check that out. Here, I'm going to, uh, we want to run this on both of these layers. So I'm going to select uh, both of them, and then we're going to extract the boundaries into a separate layer. So this is going to um, name them. I'm going to have, give the prefix as boundary underscore, and then fill the remaining with the input. Right, so I have now uh, two processing steps that will happen, one for each polygon layer, and I'll get two um, polyline boundary layers. Right, so I've got these two uh, layers. As you can see here, we have the two uh, polyline boundaries that we have extracted. And now all that is left to identify the border is to intersect them. We'll run the intersection tool, and we're going to select um, both the layers and I'm going to save this output as the boundary. Since I have this layer already, it's going to overwrite it, run this now. And now you can see we have the, the boundary that we have extracted. So this is the first part of analysis. We started with a polygon layer, we reprojected it, we uh, split this layer into two uh, separate layers containing each polygon converted them to lines and then intersected. And this is how we can identify the shared border. All right, now we have the shared border. I want to do the buffer on either side of those uh, uh, lines. I'm going to remove all the uh, this boundary layers. We don't need them anymore. Uh, QGIS also has a tool called uh, a single-sided buffer. Uh, this tool will allow you to create buffer on either side. Um, this tool, unfortunately, doesn't work that well. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So let's say I want to create a 100 meter buffer on the left side of this border. Right? Uh, if I zoom in, you'll see that uh, this does work, uh, but if you have a border like this, uh, it will create uh, a buffer for each of the segment. And if your line is not straight enough, you will get this different pieces and the buffer is not very useful. So I'm not going to use that tool. Instead, I'm going to use a slightly different process where we're just going to do a regular buffer first. So I'm going to use the regular vector buffer. And we want to identify a buffer zone of one kilometer on either side of the border. So I'm going to do one kilometer buffer on either side. Okay. So uh, this is going to give a regular buffer. So you'll get a polygon for both sides of the border, one kilometers on each side. All right, my processing finished. This can take a while. Uh, so let the process run if you have a very large and complex border region. All right, so we have this uh, buffer. And as you can see here, uh, this spans both sides of the border. So we now want to see how you can identify only the buffer region on just one side. All right, so we want to now extract two parts, this part and this part out of that. We have our buffer region and we have the individual states polygon. So I have a buffer region and I have, say, the state polygon, which intersects only with the half part. So if I intersect my buffer with each of those polygons, I'm going to get two separate buffers, uh, both single sided buffers on that side of that state. So let's uh, do the intersection with the buffer with the state polygon. And again, this uh, needs to be done for both of them. So we're going to run the intersection tool as well on as a batch process. So I'm going to execute this as a batch process. My input layer would be each of the states. And we're going to intersect it with the buffered region. Uh, we can leave all the other fields to default. And the output layer, we're going to rename it as buffer underscore. And we have the parameter values, right? and we'll say load layers on completion. Let's run this. And there you go. We have now two layers, um, one each uh, representing the one kilometer buffer region on either side of the border. This one is on this uh, for the Andhra Pradesh side, 
and this one is on the Telangana side along the border. And you can see this one is only along the border. Hope you liked the video and learned some new tricks. If you want to try this yourself, I'll leave a link to the data package in the description. You can download and try to replicate this analysis. Let me know how it goes, and I'll look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Thank you.